So after Senator Joe Manchin said he couldn't support the bill, it's looking at Build Back Better is taking a back seat on Capitol Hill. So what does it mean for Democrats heading into the crucial midterm year? Real Clear Politics' Susan Crabtree is here to discuss, and we're going to do something we never do on Christmas, talk politics around the Christmas Eve dinner. Uh, so I have, I have a highlight here. First, before we get into this, the latest Fox Business poll said 55 percent of registered voters say 2021 was a bad year for their family, and 31 percent say it's a good year for their family. Seven of 10 registered voters say 2021 was a bad year for the country. Those are very personal feelings in those polls there, which could reflect in a vote against an incumbent in some areas, right? Well, I think that Democrats is going to be a tough uh, January for them, and it's going to be a tough year ahead. You already had 23 House Democrats, including two chairmen of committees, announce that they're going to retire. And you have a similar uh, reshuffling going on in the Senate. A lot of Democrats and Republicans are announcing their retirements, but Republicans are looking like uh, they're better positioned there as well. As you know, there's only a 50-50 the uh, difference in the Senate, and there's only three House seat difference um, in, in the House. So it's going to be, you know, Republicans have the edge. Um, with this Build Back Better in January, you know, President Biden and Chuck Schumer have said they're not giving up hope. Uh, I think the Democrats are experiencing the different stages of grief here. They were in denial, and then there was anger, uh, a lot of kicking and screaming, and now we seem to have some acceptance that they are come, finally coming to understand that Manchin, Joe Manchin, controls this process, right. and he, they need his vote to even start the debate. Yeah, and they need to be nice to him. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. But so is the president, I'm curious, toxic for Democrat trying to win a seat or hold a seat? I mean, poll numbers show that Americans are not happy about inflation, gas prices, immigration crisis, you know, with the open border and the violence we've seen in the cities. Uh, so, so is he toxic in this next election coming up? Well, certainly you don't want to be having the poll numbers that you do. It's always difficult for um, in the first midterm election for an incumbent president. Uh, there, it's a difficult situation for any. But you are he's coming into this with very bad poll numbers and 54 percent um, uh, disapproval rating. So it, it, it yeah, you, you don't, you're going to have to see, we're going to see a lot of efforts like we saw, um, earlier this week with him trying to reassure the public about COVID. Um, they're coming out with this plan to put 500 million, half a billion, uh, tests out there for right. free for the public. We're going to see a lot of efforts on behalf of the, uh, of the president to sort of assure Americans that Right. So, Susan, in the last 30 seconds we have, we saw the White House and Democrats make personal attacks against Senator Joe Manchin. Then the tone changed uh, after chatter that Republicans would welcome in, into the party. What are the odds you think he switches parties? Well, I've actually spoken to Joe Manchin several years ago about this, and he said, you know, there's really no chance that he's going to do so. He has a really big problem with Republicans on taxes and uh, on other issues. Um, I I think this is a lot of wishful thinking. Of course, uh, Mitch McConnell wants to make the overtures. He would be um, remiss not to do so. But I do think that Joe Manchin um, knows he's very comfortable um, in the Democratic Party. He could, if he does anything, um, go uh, become an independent and caucus with Republicans, right. and that would really hurt Democrats. With yeah, this but very regardless, he's in the driver's seat. Susan, thank you from Real Clear Politics. I really appreciate it. Have a good and Merry Christmas. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.